Hey gang, hope everything's well. Welcome back to the Grumpy Old Bastards on Film. Nope, we're gentlemen now. Grumpy Old Gentlemen on Film. It's been a minute. It really has. It's 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 been a few videos, um, but I'm back, and it's uh, it's Ian's month. Ian chose October. It was my month. He explained it in his video. Go figure that out. Um, so he took over and chose 1941's The Wolfman. First, I want to show you my new shirt. Hold on. Check it out. Check this out. Okay, check this out. Fright Rag Freddy. Garbage Pail Kid. Check that shit out. I had to show that off first. Before any of the rest. Um, Lon Chaney Jr., the Wolfman, 1941. Ian talked about how it's uh, most likely his least favorite of the Universal Monster films. Um, I put it just above Invisible Man. I do enjoy the rest of them more. I do love the character. I love the story. Um, and I love the transformation. I often talk about how if I could go back in time to a movie and see a crowd's reaction, this would be one of, you know, that's a good list right there. That might be a Tuesday coming up, but this would be one of those movies where I would want to sit in the crowd and watch the crowd as we see the first transformation of um, Larry Talbot to the, uh, to the Wolfman. I think it would be amazing. Just a crowd reaction for this. Um, the movie itself is, I don't know, it's, I can't put my finger on it. I love werewolves. I love the creatures, you know, themselves. The There are so many good werewolf movies out there. And The Wolfman is by far top tier of that, especially just um, nostalgia-wise. I did not care for the, the remake in 2010. I had a... a a hard time with it. Maybe I'll revisit it, but I don't know. Uh, I just, I've seen it, I think twice, once in the theater and once I did buy it and I watched it and I just wasn't a fan. I'll give it another shot and just uh, see what I'll, you know, whatever. Um, but the Wolfman himself, I, the Lon Chaney Jr. as the wolf and in other movies, I'm fine. I just don't like him as, as his human character. I, he just comes off as just, I don't know if he's just supposed to be, I don't know. I just, he rubs me wrong. He's not somebody I'd hang out with. I, I would tell him to go fuck yourself. I, it's not somebody that um, I would find anything in common with. I just don't like that character. Now him as the Wolfman, magnificent. And him in any other role he's been in that's fine too i just i just really didn't care for him as as his human character and that's what takes me out of it the most other than that i, I enjoy the film i enjoyed it again tonight i've watched it numerous times um every every year since i can think back i've watched all of the mainstay movies i've only went through all of them all of the sequels and everything one time and i may make that a, a new thing to do here in the coming year um i do have this in the the blu-ray legacy box set i just got it off amazon really fucking cheap i think it's back on there cheap again it's only 69 bucks for all 30 of the universal monster films this this set includes all seven of the werewolf uh films the wolfman frankenstein meets the wolfman house of the wolfman or house of frankenstein i'm sorry house of dracula abbott and gusto meet frankenstein Werewolf of London and She-Wolf of London. So, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman is a fucking treat. Man, I'll tell you that one. Um, but as far as everything else goes, I, you know, I I just enjoy the the fact that there's the backstory of the wolf um, and the transformation are the main things. The story is fine. I don't have a problem with the story. Like I said, I just don't like um, the human aspect the human character of Lon Chaney Jr. Maybe, you know, I really can't put anything with that. Why I don't care for him, but, um, it's definitely not a bad movie. I would have to set and pick it apart. Like I said, the, 
Invisible Man is the only one that I put below it in, you know, main movies. And it would probably be uh, Frankenstein, Dracula Creature, Mummy, Wolfman, Phantom. Yeah, it would. he'd be down there, but he wouldn't be dead last. Uh, the movie wouldn't be dead last either. But I do, do enjoy it. Can't really pinpoint why or why not, you know, but I do definitely enjoy it. Um, the movie itself has some good cover art. I just seen that. Some good disc art. Do they all of them have that? No, of course not. So, uh, yeah, there you go. It's my month next month. Next month is November. I'm going to have my list up sometime tomorrow, hopefully, um, to the guys so that they can choose and they can start watching and filming. Um, get it done early so that's it until next time guys stay grumpy later